Do you work in real estate and need to publish posts in English on social media? Do you find it challenging to write posts on LinkedIn, Facebook, or Twitter in English? Have you ever thought, if I only knew the right words in English to talk about this article or introduce our new property development on LinkedIn? If so, then this video is for you. This channel and the courses that we offer on our website, which I've linked to in the description below, are made for real estate professionals with English as their second language who want to learn or improve their English to help their career. In this video, we're going to focus on expressions and phrases that you can use in your real estate social media posts. Just like all of our videos, this video also features tons of real estate English vocabulary. So if you have any questions or would like me to dive deeper into any of these words in another video, let me know in the comments below. Let's start off by talking about Posting about articles. Expression one, interesting read or great read. Let's say you've recently read an interesting article and you want to share it on LinkedIn. And of course, you also want to share some of your thoughts on the article. A great way to start off a post like this is to write interesting read or Great read. This gets your readers excited about the article and lets them know that you think it's worth their time to read it too. You can follow the phrase interesting read with the title of the article, a quote from the article, or a brief summary. Let's say the article you are sharing is about the latest developments in smart home technology you could write interesting read about the latest developments in smart home technology or great read this article highlights the latest trends in smart home technology i highly recommend it expression two any thoughts engaging your audience and getting them involved is an important part of any social media strategy. If you're posting about an article, one great way to encourage people to post in the comments is to write any thoughts. This encourages your readers to share their opinion in the comments and you might get a conversation going. Interesting read. Definitely recommend this article on how the markets are handling the current situation and what we can expect in the next year. Any thoughts? Now that we've talked about posting articles on social media and you've learned a few expressions that you can use to help you write your posts, let's move on to announcing publications. Depending on your job description, as a real estate professional, you might need to announce company publications on social media. Examples include market reports and market trend analyses. Finding the right words in English can be difficult. The good news is there are several expressions that will make writing these social media posts in English much easier. Expression three, we've just published our latest reports. A great way to announce the publication of a new report is to start off by writing, we've just published our latest reports. This expression is straightforward and to the point. It lets your readers know exactly what you are posting about and that they can look forward to reading the latest report from your company. We've just published our latest report 
on this year's market trends. Click on the link below to download it now. Expression 4. This month's report focuses on. Another way to introduce a new report is to start by writing this month's report focuses on or our latest report focuses on. Not only does this tell your readers that you have a new report out, it also tells them what the report is about. This month's report focuses on Q3 activity on the Spanish commercial real estate market. Or, our latest report focuses on the future of logistics and what to expect in the coming year. There are a few variations that you can use here as well. Instead of saying focuses on, you could also write talks about, is all about, or covers. Let me give you a few examples. This month's report talks about how e-commerce is transforming retail. Our latest report is all about what to look for in your next real estate investment. Our latest quarterly report covers new property developments in the greater Lisbon area. Expression 5. Check out our latest report. This phrase is a good way to get your readers excited about your publication. The phrase to check out is a more casual way of saying to read or to look at and works well on social media where sometimes less formal styles of communication tend to be effective. Check out our latest report. It's all about what tenants are looking for in a state-of-the-art office property. Okay, now that we've talked about announcing publications on social media and you have a few phrases in your back pocket that you can use, let's move on and talk about presenting a property for sale or for lease. If you work in real estate, there's also a good chance that you sometimes need to write social media posts about a current listing. Listing is the word we use in English when we talk about a property that has been listed or placed on the market for sale or for lease. Social media can be a great way to get the word out about a property that you are trying to sell or rent out for your clients. Here are a few phrases that you can use to write your post. Expression six, so excited about our new listing. By letting your readers know how excited you are about your new listing, you encourage them to get excited about it too. This is a very friendly, positive way of presenting a property that you are trying to sell or let. You can follow this introduction with a brief description of the property and a link to the sales particulars. So excited about our new listing, a beautiful loft style apartment right near the city center. Amazing views and high-end fixtures and fittings. Contact me for more information. So excited about our new listing. This brand new office tower is already fully let to a number of strong covenant tenants. A perfect core plus investment with secure cash flow. Sometimes you also might want to include the name of your client in your social media post. That leads us to expression seven. We are thrilled to be representing. The phrase we are thrilled to be representing is a great way to include the name of the party 
that is selling or letting the property in your post. This can be especially useful if your client has asked you to include their name in your marketing strategy. We are thrilled to be representing XYZ Property Development Company in the sale of their new office property. The building is situated in a central location in an area that is very popular with tech companies and startups. We are thrilled to be representing XYZ Management Company, owner of an amazing downtown shopping mall. The mall boasts an excellent mix of retailers, but there is a current vacancy and we are looking for a strong revenue fashion chain interested in expanding its presence in Prague. So now you have a few phrases that you can use when you need to post about a new listing or a client that you are representing. Any questions about posting on social media in English for real estate? Let me know in the comments. To learn more about our courses, check out our website at www.re-english-academy.com. You can also join our group on LinkedIn. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel and hit the like button to let us know that you want us to keep making videos. Have a great week.